Think about when your kids start driving this current situation that I'm in. All of a sudden, the kids have all this autonomy. There's a ton of things that they could go and do by themselves. We still kind of want to have those guardrails in place. Like, you have to be home by a certain time, or you don't want to drive for more than, say, five miles an hour or speed limit, things like that. One way you can actually build trust with agents is by making sure that they have the right permissions to access your tools in your data. Agent Core Identity provides a great way to do this today. But while permissions on your tools that your agents can access is a good start, what you really want to be able to control is the specific actions that your agents can or cannot take with those tools. If actions like, what is the agent going to do with those tools? How can they use them? Or are the tools for? And today, customers struggle with this. You can embed policies inside directly in your agent's code, but because agents generate and execute their own code on the fly, these safeguards are really best effort and can only provide your weak guarantees, and they're really difficult to audit call. In practice, this means today you can't with certainty control what your agent does and does not do, while also giving it the ACC to go and complete these workflows on its own. As a result, most customers feel that they're blocked from being able to deploy agents to their most valuable, critical use cases. Today, that's why we're announcing Policy in Agent Court.